All right, Sean. So since making that drop here to welterweight, you've been doing pretty well. You got two wins racked up. How does that feel? No, it feels great. You know, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I'm having my uh, you know uh, fights at you know my uh, regular weight class. So it feels really good now. I feel uh, more strong, more dominant. You know, instead of fighting you know big 185ers, so I feel good. And you took this short also on, um, on short notice, excuse me. You were uh, replacing Zach Cummings, and then you were expected to face Sergio Moraes, but right. then he also was replaced by Drew. So yeah. what went through the process for you of getting all the training in and trying to prepare with all the changes? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a well-rounded fighter now, so, I mean, anybody that throws me, I'm going to be uh, you know, prepared, uh, prepared for. But, you know, I was preparing to fight Sergio Moraes, which is like a two-time world champion in jiu-jitsu, and he's a black belt. So, uh, and Drew, you know, when they replaced him, I mean, uh, you know, I was you know, I had to revert back and you know, uh, you know, want to fight a stand-up fighter, you know, predominantly. So uh, you know, I uh, went through the transition pretty well, and uh, you know, I came came through the win. You know, it's good, good fight. You seem a little banged up. Do you have uh, any injuries or anything? I my shin, my right shin is like hurting really bad, <laughs> but it's not bad. It's like it's bad, but it's not like you know, it's just like from the kicks. I was catching his elbow a lot. I was wondering if that had happened with one of those flying knees. I mean, you really turned no. it up there in the final frame. Yeah, yeah. My coach, my wrestling coach was like, you know, you got good cardio, use your cardio. And I was like, oh, you know what? I, you know, I'm going to keep, I'm going to push the pace a little harder and see what happens. You know, I know he was wearing down, you know, in the later rounds. I knew he was having uh, trouble with, uh, with the takedowns. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he got on my legs, <clears throat> like, I was pushing his head down and I just like felt him, you know, kind of kind of dwindling. And I heard him like breathing really hard. So I knew I was, you know, he was taking a lot of energy out of him. So I just, I was just like, you know, keeping him there for a second. And if he was going to, you know, back out, I was going to catch him with some nice elbows, but he wasn't going to get the takedown. I felt it was too strong there. Right, and you actually had great sprawls <laughs> and everything. Where do yeah. you uh, train at for, I know you're in Virginia, but where do you train no, at no, for? No, no. I, I, you know, my hometown is uh, Bluefield, Virginia, okay. but I train out of Dallas, Texas. I train at uh, Octagon MMA, and it's uh, uptown. It's off of uh, Cole Avenue and Fitzhugh in uh, uptown Dallas, and uh, I've been training there for you know, a little over two years now, and uh, I'm really happy with the way things are going there. I mean, I have really good training partners, great coaching, you know, uh, strong team, and you know, we're doing we're doing big things. It's going good. What's next for you? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, uh, UFC is supposed. I heard. I don't know if it's a rumor or if it's set, but they're. I heard they're coming to Dallas in March, and I would love to get on that card. You know, and you know, show out for Dallas, Texas. I really yeah. would. That's actually Dana did announce that at the last event. So yeah, it's not a rumor. You are okay, correct. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would love to find that card. I mean, I don't know if they can get me in somewhere. I know that you know I'm still building my my name, my career, and everything, but. You know, I would love to, you know, go and fight, you know, in uh, in Dallas, Texas. is where I'm residing now, so that'd be a really good fight for me. Is there anybody in the division that you're targeting? Uh, no, I mean, you know, I want to, I want to fight, you know, with the, with the top welterweights in the world. So, you know, I'm, you know, gunning for the for the top. You know, that's where I want to be.